What's up guys, Barrett here today, and I wanted to talk about that new Drumeo Challenge beat. Uh, how do you play that, right? Because I'm seeing so many comments of so many people being like, dude, this is so hard, I don't know how you do it, I can't do it. It's actually not that hard. Let's talk about it, let's learn. So the cool thing about this pattern is it is a Latin pattern, and you can actually put lots of different clave type patterns on the snare. The one that they picked was bop, 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 But you don't start there, okay? You always start a groove with the foundation. Now there's something called an ostinato underneath, and this is how most of the time it's taught. Bass, hi-hat, bass, bass, hi-hat, bass, bass. So if we put that into rhythm, we get one and a two and a three and a four and a one. That's a really important thing to learn first. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Now that's the ostinato underneath. And that's an important thing as a drummer to practice anyways and move around and do other stuff eventually. Meaning you want to get that to where you don't have to think about it anymore. Like you want to be able to play rhythms on the snare drum and do that at the same time. How does that work? Well, you have to put in the work to just do this for a while for you and just move 16th notes around one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and a three and a four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one okay and then you can start adding accents one e and a but see even just that takes time to learn so this is a groove though. So that's what happens underneath. What I was saying is, why did I just do all that? Well, because the more comfortable you get with that and putting stuff on top of it, the more comfortable you get with the ostinato, I should say, and putting improvising on top of it, the easier it's gonna be to play a groove with that. See, the point in music is, get comfortable with an idea before you put other things on top of it. Whether you're playing piano and you're doing one hand at a time, or in drumming, in this case, since this groove has layers, you don't always do this, but since it has layers, it's good to just get comfortable with this one layer, okay? Now, we call this a bell pattern on the cymbal. Ting, chicka ting, chicka ting, chicka ting. So it starts out with one note, and then you get three notes. Ting, chicka ting, okay? Now the rhythm for that is one and a two, okay? One and a two, and you just continue to keep doing that. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Well, that's interesting. That's very similar to one and a two and a three and a four and a one. What? They're the same thing. Bass, hi-hat, bass, bass, hi-hat, bass, bass. It literally goes together, okay? So the real answer on how to learn this is you practice the ostinato, then you put the bell pattern. We call this a bell pattern. It's a cymbal pattern. In Latin, we call it a bell pattern. But it doesn't matter, okay? So just like anything else you're learning, you don't tr practice that this way first. You practice it this way first. And connect everything and relax. You're never going to have a finished product in the beginning. Remember that, okay? So, so far, we've literally taken a couple of different steps to be able to play this. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. We've practiced putting rhythms on top of that to get more comfortable with it. The reason why you do this, by the way, is so that you can know and you can be confident in the fact that this is becoming more autopilot. The thing underneath, the ostinato. The more autopilot that becomes, the easier it's going to be to do anything else. Put your bell pattern on top of it once it's more autopilot. Connect it all together, meaning they happen at the same time. And only then are you ready to put the melody on the snare, the, uh, the clave, as they call it in Latin. Ba, 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 okay? So here's the trick. You get so comfortable with the bass, the hi-hat, and the ride cymbal that you don't think about how it's put together with the snare drum in my opinion. Think about it as one and a two and a three and a four and a one. This is all one layer together, okay? You wanna be able to do this so comfortably before you ever put this snare stuff in here. Because the concept is not to just play the pattern they showed you, 
which is ah, 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 That's not the concept. The concept is to be able to play a lot of different rhythms because there's lots of different claves. You also have this. Or or That's a really popular one. By the way, traditionally speaking, the bass drum in this is flat foot and it's relaxed. It's not a real hard hitting sound. So it's not easy, obviously, but that's how you think about it. Ostinato underneath, add the cymbal pattern with the ostinato. Although there's technically different bell patterns too. Uh, this is the bell pattern they chose to do and it's actually an easier bell pattern than some other ones. Then you put your melody on top. Melody as in, you want to be able to put lots of things on the snare. You want to be able to paint, you want to be able to get so comfortable with this layer right here, you can just paint a picture on the snare and do whatever you want. So I hope that helps you guys play that drumio beat. Uh, it's not quite as hard as everyone's making it out to be. You just have to take the right systems in place. The ostinato first, add the bell pattern, and then learn how to communicate on the snare while you're doing that. Once this becomes more autopilot, then you can communicate on the snare how you want. And that's also how jazz works. It's the same way jazz works. It's why comping is not an absolute thing. You want to be able to just speak on the snare while you play your ostinato in jazz. We don't really call it that, but ding, ching, ding, ching, ah, 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 ah. Remember, concrete patterns are great, but being able to speak is really the goal. Have a good one.